In a desert-like corner of southern Ethiopia, a thousand kilometers from the capital, refugee camps like Dola Ado are struggling to keep up with the new arrivals. The numbers are alarming, almost overwhelming for aid agencies including UNHCR. The camps are filling up, including one that was opened two weeks ago. With 20,000 new arrivals, it's nearly at capacity. Safiala and her seven children arrived a week ago. It took them days to reach the camp. On the way, tragedy struck. A widow, she put her child to rest as best she could. The trip had an added ordeal. On the way, Safiala was separated from her eldest daughter. Antonio Guterres, the High Commissioner for Refugees, said that 2011 was the year of crises, but this one was the worst. Our heart is broken when we see mothers telling us that after having walked for days to reach safety, they have lost their children on the way, to see children dying and the doctors not being able to address uh, their situation because it's too late. Uh, and to see that we have a lot to do together. Abdullah Hamed Mohammed also lost his youngest son. The father of 11 says he simply ran out of food to feed everyone. <laughs> Safiala weighs only 30 kilos. Slowly, with some assistance, she and her children are recovering some of their strength. But their fate is uncertain. The decades-long conflict in Somalia, now made worse by the drought, has brought a dramatic fall in food production. At the same time, food prices have gone up leaving thousands like these new arrivals no choice but to